So hello guys and welcome to this video today. <coughs> we are taking a look today at part of the East Lancashire line from Rosegrove to Colne. And depending on day, time and how well I do, I'm hoping I can follow it then down the original line from Colne to Skipton. Which would have been the Leeds and Bradford extension railway. We're here at Rosegrove station today. Um, this is situated not far from the town of Paddingham and... Um, the Rosegrove area of Burnley in Lancashire. Uh, we can see Rosegrove station is still open. Um, it has services to Manchester, Salford, Todmorden, Blackburn, Accrington, among other destinations. Um, just for a good comparison, although I think it's custom. We've got Rosegrove here, and then further down, We've got it here. But what's interesting is both signs seem to have Rosegrove spelt either together or separate. So that's a nice little comparison. And what's interesting is there's also this old railway line here, which is heavily overgrown and goes that way. Now I'm not just sure, but I'm sure that was part of what was the line to Paddingham and um, Great Harwood where it served the power station up until the 90s. Looks like they've either left the track down or this could have been an old passing line for through trains which stopped after the closure of the line to Bradford and Leeds in 1970s. I will double check that myself, but that's uh, quite interesting. And beyond, under the bridge, as I showed you earlier when the train left, is part of the other, is part of the island platforms heading down under the bridge but they've been taken out of use meaning only this side is now in use I'm guessing that they don't have the bigger trains that they use to accommodate in the station or the lines in particular so they obviously don't want to uh, need too much of the railway we've got the same going on down here we can see beyond that fence towards the gantries there's more of the old platform. So guys, this was Rosegrove Station. We'll now head on to the next one, which is Burnley Barracks.
So we're here at Burnley Barracks Station. This is a town of Burnley in Lancashire. As we can see, the station site is still in use. Um, this is a request stop between Colne and Burnley along this section of the East Lancashire line. On that side of the track, as we can see, is the former Skipton slash Lee Bradford bound platform which is now redundant and has been since the 1970s when they closed the line from Cold to Skipton. It's overgrown, but there is potential talk of reinstating the line between Skipton and Colne, and apparently if that line is um, reopened, they, re they reckon barracks here, Burnley Barracks, could possibly be closed, and they'll just improve the services of Burnley Central. But of course, nothing's been set in stone yet, no, no date given. But the other side's platform is still obvious. We're on the Rose Grove bound platform. Um, so we say we're facing back towards Rose Grove that way. And we face towards Colne this way. So, this was Burnley Barracks Station, we'll now head on to the next one. Yeah. Oh, I'm uh, covering the um, old, do you remember the line that used to go down to Coleman on Skipton, the old oh, right. Leeds and Bradford extension line from Coleman to Skipton where they hope it's Yes, yeah, so I'm literally, that. yeah, I'm literally covering this, but I'm doing it from the beginning at Rose Grove all the way to Nelson, Coleman. Are you getting off at every stop? Uh, no, I'm driving to do because there's a few little old halts around Reedley Hollows and that, which used to oh, be. Oh, yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking to do them, but the train obviously does. Ah, right, right by the uh, marina there. That's it, yeah. So I'm kind of I'm going into Burnley Town and doing the town centres as well, so I'm sort of doing an open kind of. You're doing, the, you're doing the town centre as well, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'm um, doing um, Burnley, Briarfield. Well, this, this is fine. This line, two minute journey down to. Burnley Central cuts out a 20 minute walk downhill. Yeah. And then back up the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. That's never going to happen, is it? They're never, they're never going to put that line back to uh, Skipton. I doubt it'll ever happen. When they lay this track here, you can see some really decent lengths of metal here. It's like, there's no joints. No, no. But it was, I got told it were a million pound a mile to put a new track down. Yeah. I know, Dick. Did you see? Do you, do you know Charles Beach? Uh, Have you come across him? No, not yet. He was in Burnley a while back and he got yeah. arrested and fined. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, no. So guys, you heard it from one of the locals here who asked me what I'm doing. Even he believes the role will never be reopened to Skipton. Um, obviously, like I say, nobody can obviously say it won't. No one can say it will. Unfortunately, it's down to two things, viability and funds. And unfortunately, funds isn't really available right now. And viability-wise, um, I don't know, guys. I mean, what do you what think? Do you think... They should reopen the Colne to Skipton line, or do you think they should just improve services between Blackburn and <coughs> um, Manchester and just offer a direct route through Manchester to Leeds? Let me know what you lot think in the comments below. Thank <laughs> you.
So guys, we're here at Burnley Central Station. This is the town of Burnley, Lancashire. Um, it is one of three stations serving the town. We were at Burnley Barracks earlier, and the other one is Burnley Manchester Road, a bit closer to the town on the Calder Valley Line. Um, we're here at um, Burnley Central, which is the second stop along um, the East Lancashire Line branch to um, Colne. And obviously this used to go through to Skipton and Leeds, but is now uh, on a stub line which finishes at Colne. We see Burnley Central, home of the University of Central Lancashire, 1828. And you can get services to Colne, Nelson, Preston and Rosegrove among other destinations. We're facing this way towards Rosegrove. If we pan across here, we're facing towards Colne and Nelson. I cannot see any trace of the second platform here, although I could be wrong, but that looks like the remains of a sign that held up the second platform sign. But it looks like it's been completely leveled since then. And obviously we've got small stubs of the old platform's edges here. Obviously it's smaller now because of the amount of the carriages usually along here are only two carriages, so it doesn't leave much space. <clears throat> so guys, this was Burnley Central. We'll now head on to the next one. So here is the site of New Hall Bridge Halt Station. Um, this is an area between Briarfield and Burnley in Lancashire. Um, as we can see, the site of the station has long gone. It's now in use as part of the East Lancashire line between Briarfield and Burnley. As we can see, the old road that used to pass down here under this bridge, carrying the railway over the footpath but there's no trace of the halt or its platforms left, so, yeah. So this was new Holbridge Halt Station. We'll now head on to the next one.
So up there on the top of the embankment is the site of Reedley Hallows Holt Station. This uh, the civil parish of Reedley Hallows, or commonly known as Reedley, between Briarfield and Burnley in Lancashire. Um, nothing remains of the station site now. Uh, the line through it's still in use for the East Lancashire Line branch between Colne and Burnley. We're facing towards Burnley that way with the trees. And where the train's gone, has gone towards Nelson and Colne. So guys, uh, I can't get up there sadly, so um, up there, like I say, that's the site of Reedley Hallows Holt, so we'll now head on to the next one, which is Briarfield. So this is Briarfield Station guys, we are here at the site of the station. This serves the town of Briarfield in Pendle in Lancashire. Um, as we can see the station still has its two platforms, the Burnley and uh, Rose Grove bound platform and the old Skipton and Leeds bound platform here which we can see is being since reused for spikes or something, I'm not too sure. But the platform is quite well in situ. Um, the station building is still survives, but it's now private residence. This station is now unhalt in unstaffed, but it's still got traces of its old platforms here. And um, we are facing this way towards Nelson and Colne. And if we pan around, we face back towards Burnley and Rosegrove. Now you guys might notice quickly behind the sun is a tall tower in a minute. That is the Jamia Sultania Mosque, the tallest in Lancashire. Um, as we can see it's been converted from an old mill but this dominates the Briarfield and surrounding skyline it's probably one of the tallest buildings in Pendle and Burnley areas of Lancashire so this was Briarfield station we'll now head on to the next one which is Nelson
So this is Nelson Station. This serves the town of Nelson in Pendle in Lancashire. As we can see, the station is still open on the East Lancashire line between Colne and Burnley. And it's probably the only one that is a joint bus and train interchange. So we're facing that way towards Colne along the railway. If we pan across here, we face towards Burnley and Rosegrove. Now what's interesting is this platform is still used for trains to Manchester and Blackburn, and of course Colne, but on the opposite side, although they've tried to obscure it a little bit, but not to very good avail, We've got the old Skipton and Leeds bound platform here. Which has since been made into like a small green slash woodland area. But the platform of course is still quite obvious. And that little bit of um, bridge separator there. So guys, this was Nelson Station. We'll now head on to the next one.
Hey, bud. I'm able to get some information about training times here. Yeah. I just want to know, um, if I wanted to go to Leeds, how would I go to Leeds? Because I know I can't go along the old railway to skip to Colm. So I can't go straight from Colm to... Yeah. Yeah. So I know Colm's a terminus of this line, if I remember. If you're going that way, that's what you can do. Yeah. Yeah, because the old railway doesn't go, the railway doesn't go there no more, does it? So, yeah. That's brilliant, mate. Thank you very much. So this is the site of Bot Lane Holt Station. There's a certain area between Nelson and Colne in Lancashire in Pendle. As we can see the site of Bot Lane Holt is long gone. The line is still in use between Colne and Nelson on the East Lancashire line. And this was the final station on this section of the active line before it terminates currently at, well, terminates at Colne. We're facing towards Colne that way and back towards Nelson that way. So this was Bot Lane Holt Station, we'll now head on to Colne.
So we're here at Colne Station. This is the town of Colne in Pendle, Lancashire. As we can see, the station is still open on the East Lancashire line between Burnley and Nelson and here to Colne. However, if we pan across here, where the fence is, is the former Skipton and Leedsbound platform, which has since been fenced off, overgrown, and forms part of a little dog walking park there. We're facing towards Nelson and Burnley this way. And if we pan across here, we face towards where the line to Skipton ran. As we can see directly there. There's a buffer stop with the line finishing there, just before where those cars are. That is where the line to Skipton used to run, and of course, as we can see, Colne serves as nothing more than a terminus of a small branch line from Rose Grove as we follow today. After the closure of the line in 1970, Colne was, and the section between Colne and Nelson, which was double tracked at the time, was single tracked, and then the station buildings which stood here at one point were 
demolished due to disrepair and now it's so just a small unstaffed halt with nothing here except a waiting shelter and some callbacks to its old history in um, the railway tunnels. What isn't surprising really is to see the coal, the Skipton bound platform still pretty much in situ and now like I say used for a uh, thing but what's so obvious about the old line finishing is that buffer stop up there it doesn't look like trains run as far up to that part of the platform as they used to but yeah um, so we now finish on the active section of the East Lancashire line between Burley and Colne now we head off towards Skipton and follow the disused section and we see what remains. And we will also take a brief look at the Bonaldswick branch as well, which ran from the nearby town of Irby. I think one more thing to note, when this line closed, it was roughly around the time this would have gone through the historic counties of Lancashire and the West Riding of Yorkshire to the North Riding of Yorkshire. However, the line now runs through what Lancashire gained in the 1970s local government boundary um, planning and as a result, Urban Bernaldswick, which were originally in North Yorkshire and West Riding of Yorkshire, so I say, sorry, are now part of the Pendle Borough of Lancashire, although they never were originally. So just thought I'd point that out. So it's a similar scenario with Saddleworth in Oldham. That was all part of West Riding of Yorkshire, now it's part of Greater Manchester. So this was Colne Station and we'll now head off and find the disused stations along this section to Skipton as well as a brief detour to Bernaldswick to see what remains of its station. <laughs> 